Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I'm a 22 year old college student. I go to the University of Arkansas, woo pig, and I'm a nursing student. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you how I study in nursing school. I'm getting my BSN, so when I graduate, I'm going to be a registered nurse. And I'm in my second semester of the program, so I graduate December of 2021. And nursing school is hard. So I am currently in the process of studying for two exams. I have a mental health and nursing exam on Friday, and then the following Monday, I have a med surge nursing exam. In today's video, I'm just going to take you with me as I study, give you some study tips for nursing school, and also just study tips in general for college, my general routine, and how I stay focused and productive. So if you're interested in seeing how I study for exams in nursing school, just keep on watching. study guide for my mental health exam pulled up. I started filling it out last night and I have maybe half of it done. It's currently 7.05. What is that? So now I'm going to just go and open up my other powerpoints that I haven't looked at yet. I can wrap this study guide up. The exam's been open since yesterday, which was Wednesday, and it closes at midnight on Sunday. Goal is to just do it after class tomorrow because I think we're getting out early anyway, so we have time to take the exam like during class time. Hopefully I get enough studying done tonight to where I can just take it during that time tomorrow and not have to wait and take it on the weekend. We have a whiteboard over here, which I'll probably use later. And then this is just my little desk setup for now. Long time to chat. So I thought that now that I'm in the study room, I can just go ahead and give you an idea of like my study layout and how I do things. So I have my study guide in front of me. It's like 20 something pages. I am so sorry to the environment. I'm kind of weird and picky about the way I do things, but I like to assign like certain colors to certain classes and notes. So I guess we're gonna do purple and blue for my mental health class. So what I'm gonna do is go through my notes and I'm going to underline and highlight key terms and important bits of information. So I always start off doing that first. And then after that, I'm gonna go through and reread the chapters. So I have the first one already pulled up on my laptop. And then as I go through the readings, I will just like pencil in more bits of information that I didn't already have on the study guide. This is a lot of information and apparently it's only a 25 question exam so that's kind of driven me out a little bit. Also fun fact about nursing school, most of the questions are select all that apply and I hate those questions. They always trip me up but that's because that's the style that NCLEX is. It's a lot of select all that applies. So they're trying to prepare us already. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get to just like marking up my study guide and I'm going to listen to some Franco because for some reason he is the only music I can listen to while I study. Everything else distracts me, but I do really well studying when I listen to Frank Ocean. writing all the drugs that I think I need to know. So for this part of the mental health class, we're going over like anti-anxiety meds, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, and then these three random ones at the bottom. I feel like I'm in pharmacology all over again. Little update, it is now almost 11 o'clock. I just got done marking through my notes. I still haven't read the chapters. I haven't worked on much memorization. I might wait until like tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night to take it. Maybe even Saturday morning, we'll see. So I'm packing up my stuff. It is now 
1.01 a.m. So I'm gonna go back to my apartment and try to get some sleep. I ended up going through all the chapters that are supposed to be on the exam tomorrow, so I'm feeling better about that. I wanted to be able to have a more relaxing day tomorrow just because I've been very like go, go, go this week. I've had so many assignments due, but things aren't looking too great right now. Saturday and Sunday are my study all day for med surge. I also just realized I haven't filmed an intro for this video, so I'm gonna do that right now. Let's hope I don't get kidnapped walking back to my apartment at 1 a.m. Okay. I am finally back at my apartment. It's 1.15, hopefully I'll be in bed by 1.30. You know, in nursing school, we learn a lot about like the importance of sleep and how you don't really retain as much information if you're staying up all night and like, all-nighters are pointless. But I'm just gonna be honest. Everyone in nursing school pulls all-nighters or stays up late, doesn't get their full eight hours of sleep. It shouldn't be normal that students are this stressed out about getting their degree that they uh, ruin their sleep schedule and mental health. It's just the reality of it. If you're going into nursing school, not to scare you, but like you just won't get much sleep at all ever. Last semester when I had pathophysiology, we had an exam literally every week. So I would have at least one and up to three exams per week, which was awful. Even though we are in the middle of a pandemic, nursing school doesn't stop. At least I know I have jobs stability in the future. If you're in nursing school, try to take care of yourself, try to get sleep, drink lots of water, take emergency, all that good stuff because you want to keep yourself healthy. Okay, I'm going to change into my pajamas and then go to bed because I have an 8 a.m. and I have to wake up early. So see you guys tomorrow, today. <sighs> So if you remember last night, I said I would hopefully be in bed by 1.30. Well, I was, but I didn't fall asleep until 4 a.m. Then I woke up for my 8 a.m. and I fell asleep during it. And then I just had my mental health class, which is the class that I have an exam in today. So the game plan is to get my exam done by one, maybe, and then I'll have the rest of the day to do other things that I need to do. I kind of ordered these in order of importance. My exam I have to take, then I have an assignment due tonight, and then another due on Sunday, which I just want to go ahead and get turned in. So I'm going to go ahead and get to studying, and I will check in with you guys after I take my mental health exam. I am so pleasantly surprised. Only missed one question. I didn't think I did that well on it. It only took me 11 minutes. I went back through and like reviewed all my answers. I ended up changing one or two, I think. So now I'm gonna go celebrate by eating lunch because it is 1.30 and I'm starving. Little update from today, it is now the end of Friday. I just kind of wanted to take like a me evening, afternoon kind of thing. I have found that it's very easy that when you're so stressed and you feel like you have so many things to do that you just kind of forget to do the basic things that make yourself happy and take care of yourself. Like tonight, I took a nice bath, I lit a candle, I did my skincare routine. It was great. I was really tired. I had a lot of caffeine today, so I didn't take a nap. So because I have my med surge exam on Monday, I know that I at least need to be studying Saturday afternoon slash evening through Sunday. I don't want to have to pull an all-nighter just because those are so bad for you. When you're in college, you'll figure out your own ideal study schedule. But for me, I like to take two to three days in advance to like really study and have my study guides prepared before then if that makes sense just because making the study guide itself can take hours and you could be spending those hours like actively studying a good study tip is if you do take a break make sure you do something that kind of keeps your mind going whether it be reading a book you enjoy or doing a hobby just something like that to where you're still kind of staying active i find that's really helpful so i'm about to lay in bed and watch some tv which i haven't really given myself the privilege of enjoying lately and hopefully get to bed soon because it's 10 47. We're just gonna relax the rest of the night and try to wake up at a decent hour tomorrow just because I don't want to sleep half my day away. <laughs> you guys tomorrow and we'll get back to this studying video. I could have really just messed up my camera. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Oh, 
it is Sunday. I'm about to sit down and get some more studying done because my exam for my med surge nursing class is at 8 tomorrow morning. This is basically my study guide, so I'm going to go through and highlight stuff on that and then just like go back through the PowerPoints, which I worked on last night. Oh my gosh. I'm back in my favorite study room. It's 6.42 on a Sunday. I'm the only one in the study room. So I'll just show you guys really quickly what I've been doing. So these are the PowerPoints from class. We have online lectures that we watch before we go to class. So these are the notes that she said, like along with the stuff that was on the PowerPoint. I made my study guide from copying and pasting the answers to each question from the PowerPoint. And then what I did was underline and highlight important stuff. And then after that, I went back through these PowerPoints and like would find each slide that correlated with this stuff. And then I wrote the extra information on the side and she further explain the stuff during class. So generally how I study is I'll watch the recorded lectures and then take notes on basically everything she says that adds on to the basic information in the PowerPoint. It seems like a lot of work and it is. It took me four hours just to mark up all of these. I obviously have to add a lot of color to my notes and I also write and underline a lot. I just think that helps me remember things more just because I feel really unmotivated just staring at the same thing for hours. So so having kind of interactive, I guess, notes like this is really good and it just keeps my mind going and learning and it gives me something to do as I study. I have my alarm set for 7 because my exam starts at 8 and I want to get up a little bit early and review it. My exam is obviously online and then I'll probably be done with my exam by 8.30 and then my next class isn't until 10.30 so like if I'm really tired I can just take a nap before my second class of the day. I like having the space in here just to spread out all my notes on this table. It kind of gets cramped on my table in my bedroom. Rude. I'm probably gonna end this video tomorrow after my exam, just give an update on what I got. Hopefully I get a good grade. My process of studying is very time consuming. When you just add up everything that I do, I do a lot of copying and pasting and printing and then I do like three separate rounds of marking up my actual study guide. So I guess I'll update you tomorrow after my exam? I don't know, we'll see. So I just got done with my exam. I ended up staying up until 3.30 in the morning. Definitely meant to go to bed by one. Then I woke up at 6.45 to go over my study guide again and took my exam. It was 40 questions. I got done in 20-ish minutes. I kind of started crying during it because I felt like it was going so bad. I feel sorry for whoever had to monitor that exam and see me start to cry. I don't know my grade. She used to go in and manually grade some questions. Hopefully I did better than I think. Think. So to make myself feel kind of better, I got McDonald's. I'm gonna have breakfast because I'm starving. I'll update when I get my grade. Really not excited about that. What? How? How? I think my score was switched with someone else's. I thought I failed that. Maybe I am kind of smart. I got a 97.5% on my exam. So we're feeling great. I stressed so much this morning for nothing, literally cried during my exam and I only missed two points, which is like one question out of 40, which I'm glad I did well on both of my exams because I got a 96 on my first one and a 97.5 on this one. So apparently my study tips and tricks and the way I study works. This video wasn't for nothing. It's gonna be it for today. Let me know if you want like a more in-depth studying video for nursing school or just any more nursing school content i would love to do that because that's all i do in my real life thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video